So we're testing two products here today. Um, one, they're both paper products. One is a thin like tissue paper, almost like a tissue wax paper. Uh, maybe a parchment paper is closest um, closest reference. Stack of those, we're picking them um, from the stack and see how that does. Uh, the second is more of a like a poster board um, type material, a more rigid to it, um, a little more thickness. The setup we're going to use here is a VGS 2010 generator. Um, generates about one and a half CFM of vacuum flow. Um, sorry, one, about one CFM of vacuum flow. Um, about 22 inches of mercury max per the SI cartridge that is inside the pump here. Um, the cup we are using is an F33 flat style um, FDA silicone cup. Um, unique feature on this is the cleat pattern on the bottom. Um, will help keep the thin paper um, nice and flat and prevent it from being sucked into maybe like a larger opening um, in the cup. Also a nice thin flexible lip as well to get a good seal on that paper. We have feed pressure going into this generator about uh, 90 psi which is about optimal um, and we'll go ahead and test this here. So we do have a vacuum gauge over here to see what our vacuum reading is when we pick the papers. Um, we'll start off with the cardboard. As you saw there, it kind of picked up one below it, but it's not really flowing through. So we're getting about 17, 18 inches of mercury vacuum. Um, what it was is more of just a, a self-suction underneath the paper as I can do that. Um, just coming down on it as as itself, I can pick it up and it kind of just follows it a little bit there. You see it. Um, so good hold um, on there, and you see no indentation or anything on the underside. Um, move it around pretty violently, and, and it's still holding on. Um, so we'll go ahead and try the more difficult tissue paper here. Um, and see how that performs. So we're actually getting a pretty good vacuum level, about 17 and a half inches of mercury, indicating that the paper is not really porous. Um, maybe a little bit. Um, and then underneath here, we're not getting really any deformation because that nice flat cleat pattern is keeping it nice and flat. Um, go ahead and shake it here. We do get, you know, since it is a little more flexible um, and it does pull away from the lip. Um, you know, you can you can get some some loss there around the edge of the lip as it crinkles around, but we can move it around and it still holds pretty well. Um, if you had multiple cups in an array on here, um, you know, picking around, you keep it nice and stable as well. The key thing to point out here with this thinner paper is that we're not picking um, two pieces at once. Um, sometimes with thin thin papers, you do get flow through it. It does pick up multiple pieces at once. So I'll go ahead and turn this on and get here. And you'll see we're only getting one sheet at a time. So I think this is a great solution, uh, especially in an array of maybe three of these. Um, coming down on the paper, or maybe three cups. You know, the cups are great for this application. Um, use those cups. Maybe a, a generator, more of a centralized source that has three, three vacuum lines going out.